Ahoy there, fellow pirates. It's been a year and a bit since we started this grand adventure with Sea of Thieves. So what better time than now to look over the past year and a bit than now? On the 20th of March 2018, we launched the good ship Sea of Thieves and invited everyone across the world to join our crew. So many of you joined, in fact, that we were bursting at the seams. But we were ready with the planks to patch away. We've been live uh, 48 hours. We've rolled the game out across the world and, and it's been kind of crazy. Yes, it has. We believed that communication was key and so the weekly dev update was born. Hello everyone, Joe Neat here, executive producer on Sea of Thieves with another weekly dev update. The Sea of Thieves, we've come out of the blocks. We're now dealing in millions of players. We're getting a lot of feedback. We've seen a lot of great, amazing stories. We've yep. seen a lot of people sharing. I think it's a, a really wonderful position to be in as well, where people are saying to us constantly every day, we love this, we want more. Launch had passed, but there was a deep hungering for more. The hungry deep. The Hungering Deep introduces a new AI threat to Sea of Thieves. Beyond that, it becomes a permanent fixture in the world, but it's showcased in a really cool and interesting way first. This update was about more than just a Megalodon. It was about bringing crews together to defeat a common foe and creating those first informal alliances and giving them tools to help them with that, such as the speaking trumpet and the drum, which had to be played across different crews. It was about introducing Law to the world through Merrick and his tales of the giant shark. And it was so popular that we might just be seeing him again. <laughs> Hot in the heels of the hungering deep came E3 2018, where we gave the world their first glimpse at the next two content updates for Sea of Thieves. But before the first of those content updates landed in the shores of Sea of Thieves, we had the Bildra Adventures. Ah, the Bildra Adventures, remember those? <laughs> Cursed Sails, the update where every set of sails on the horizon might be another crew of players, or a skeleton ship. Cursed Sails was the update that unleashed skeleton crews upon the waves. And to combat this new threat, players could now band together with alliances. It was very rewarding to kind of see where it landed based on all the kind of technical challenges that we had along the way. At this point, we decided you hadn't seen enough of us, so we started a two-hour weekly stream where we invited some of the creators from our community to come on board and play with the devs. We're live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are controlled by one we know as the wheel. The wheel. You've been speaking to a wheel. <laughs> right up underneath right now. Joe, is it on? Is it on? Ah, get away, get away, get away! <laughs> <laughs> Forsaken Shores was the biggest update so far and brought with it a perilous new region for players to explore. So when we looked at Sea of Thieves after launch, one of the first things we wanted to do was expand the world. But what we wanted to do was make it a part of the gameplay experience. The rowboat is another idea that just felt perfect for this. Like, as soon as we thought about doing superheated water, it's like we just had visions of rowing over it and like overcoming the threat that way. Then came Shrouded Spoils, an update that needs no introduction. Well, apart from this introduction. Shrouded Spoils is a little bit different to some of our previous updates. We've really taken a look across the whole game and pulled together just a big list of things that we're adding. Shrouded Spoils remixed the recipe for Sea of Thieves, enriching the world for our existing community and bringing with it lots more new players and new content creators. But we weren't done with 2018 just yet. Gilded Gifts kicked off the holiday season with a new type of voyage, which saw the seas brimming with treasure, ripe for the plundering. In February 2019, we allowed every captain out there to bring on three free friends for Friends Play Free. Easier done than said. 
And on March 20th, 2019, 365 days after we set out on our maiden voyage, we announced the anniversary update. I know I speak for the entirety of Rare when I say we're humbled by your support and are so excited for what's to come with Anniversary and beyond. So cheers for the past year. And a bit. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you liked what you saw, then there's a wealth of content already on our channel and there's lots more to come. So subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.